Okay, so this question is involving a probability tree diagram. And if we read the question, it says that the counter's not put back in the bag. Therefore, we know it's going to be conditional. Now, conditional means that the probability of the second uh, um, event, so taking the second counter, depends on what you did the first time around. Okay, the way uh, probability trees work is you start on the left-hand side and you have an option. You can either go up if you pick blue or down if you pick red. Now, because you have to pick one of the options, the two options have to add up to one. So if blue is 3 over 7, the bottom one must be 4 over 7. has to be, because then it adds up to 7 over 7, which is 1. Now, if we picked a blue on our first counter, the probability of us picking a blue again is 2 over 6. So therefore, the probability of us picking a red will be 4 over 6. OK, now let's see where those numbers have come from. It says in the question that there are three blue counters and four red. Therefore, the first probability of a blue being 3 over 7 is because there's three blue counters and there's seven altogether. The second probability, so if I picked a blue on the first counter, went down, well, if I picked a blue again, to 2 over 6. That's because there's two blue counters and only six left altogether. So we need to know that to be able to fill out the bottom one. So if I picked a red on the first time round, what's the probability I'll pick a blue? Well, let's have a think. There are still three blue counters in there, but there are only six left altogether um, left in there because we've picked a red. So the probability of us picking a red, well, there were four before we picked one, but we've picked a red, so therefore there are three reds left and six left altogether. Now, I'm deliberately not cancelling these down. I could cancel it down to a third, two thirds, half, half. But I'm just going to leave it as it is for now, just to make things simpler. OK. Question B says, work out the probability that the two counters picked are different colours. So let's follow our routes along. I'm going to go up and then up. So blue and then blue. Blue and then red red and then blue and you're always starting from this point here and then red and then red now let's have a look blue and blue are not different colors so we're not interested in that red and red are not different colors but the middle two are so what you do with probability trees is you start here and you collect all the fractions that you went past on your way on your journey to the end so we went past three over seven and 4 over 6. Now the word and there is really important because and in probability means times and you're always going to multiply them when you're going across a tree diagram. So I'm going to times the tops and times the bottoms. Again I'm not going to bother cancelling down at this point. Okay so the other option is I pick a red first and then a blue. So that is 4 over 7 and mean times 3 over 6. That's going to be 12 over 42. And normally these two will be the same. Okay, so just be prepared for that. Not always though. Okay, so we had 12 over 42 for the first option and 12 over 42 for the second option. But we can't pick both options. And this is the problem. We've got two probabilities, two answers. Well, we can't possibly have that. The word or comes into effect here. We either pick a blue and then a red or a red and a blue and the word or in probability means add so all we need to do to finish this question is add the two options we had so when you're going down here and you're collecting all the fractions you got you just add them together so we're going to add the tops together which is 24 over 42 so it's half top and bottom and let's, let's cancel it down now 12 over 21 and I think I can divide them both by 3 so it'd be 4 over 7 so my answer is 4 over 7